What is up, Merce Nation? I just want to make a quick video on keyboard shortcuts that I see even some experienced editors not using, and I think it can really speed up your workflow. If you guys are new here, my name's Javier Mercedes, and I like everything that has to do with video tech tutorials, and specifically in this video, Premiere Pro and keyboard shortcuts, especially those that save you time. Let's go ahead and get into it. The reason I say that is if you want to subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave me a comment, leave me a like. Okay, I'm gonna get to the video now. Real simple and to the point, these shortcut keys have to do with navigation within the windows of Premiere Pro. One of these three, I'm probably going to be using every single minute and they are to avoid me having to move the mouse right here. Let's say I have this clip right here and I wanted to throw the mirror effect on it. You would go something like window and then maybe hit effects here. If it would have been even something slower where you click right here and you're like, oh, let me get to the effects window and then it's right here or you'd have this drop down menu. There's so many ways to do things inside Premiere Pro, but let's learn the fastest way. Editing, we're doing our thing and I want to throw a mirror effect on this clip. All you have to do to get to the effects is hit shift seven. You type in mirror and drop that in. So now that we've dragged that effect onto the clip, we need to go to the effect controls window, which I would go all the way back up here, click effect controls, which I mean, doesn't take too much time, but again, let's learn the fastest way to do it. In order to get to effect controls, hit shift five. Now your effect controls is right there. You can do like a mirror on mirror. Whoa, you can't even handle it. And then to get back to the project window, say you wanted to bring in some more clips, hit shift one. Shift one for the project window, shift five for effects controls window, and then shift seven for the effects window. I can guarantee you, if you embed those into your brain, your editing process will get so much faster. I guarantee it. If you are using your mouse to go click on something or go right click on something to get to another window in order to do whatever that task is, try and find a way to do that task specifically only on the keyboard. Shift two would bring up your source monitor, shift three, timelines, shift four, program monitor, shift six will be your audio track mixer, the media browser, shift eight, and shift nine is audio clip mixer. Another neat little side tip. If you wanted to toggle through your timelines, all you would have to do is hit shift three, and then all of a sudden you are toggling through your timelines. The ones that I use the most are shift one, shift five, and shift seven. That's project, effects controls, and effects. If you can get in your brain to use shift one, shift five, and shift seven to navigate the window and not have to use your mouse, you're on your way. Till next time, guys, I hope this was helpful and I hope I saved you guys some time and some, some pain in your wrists from using your mouse. You guys are still here, so if you if it if I did help, leave me a like.